Hello and welcome. Today I'm gonna show you a birthday card but first I want to start off by telling that if you see that it looks a little bit different you can see that this is supposed to be square but it has a little bit round edge that because I'm using a different camera this is a GoPro camera uh, Hero 4 silver that my boyfriend bought he's snowboarding and he likes to have this camera on his head so I thought okay let's give that a shot let's try that it makes the edges a little bit round so it has this fish eye thing going on but it focuses really fast so i thought okay let's try this for camera because my camera is a little bit crap sorry for swearing i don't know if crap is a swear word my camera is a little bit slow and dark and uh, not so good so i thought let's try this one but now to continue the birthday card that you see here oh there sorry i touched the camera there this is a birthday card i made for my cousin and it looks like this it's supposed to be a little bit vintage um a bird there is it a swallow i'm not sure so it looks like this on the front side on the inside nothing fancy just a little fleur-de-lis and on the back side nothing fancy just my signature there and I started out with a A, is it called A6 or A5? I think it's a A5, but you score it in half, so it's become A6. I glued on with double-sided tape this pattern paper. It's a little bit golden. Oh, nice, the camera picks that up. Yes, it's a little bit golden with texture on. And then I glued on this other piece of paper. It's It has some flocks on it. I'm not sure it's it flocks or suede or whatever it is, but it has this fabric feeling to it so i glued that on and then i took a stamp set and a clear white paper oh sorry i have to touch the camera because the screen keeps going away um, i took a stamp set by viva decor it's i think it's a german company and i took the swallow and i pretty much copied the colors i like the swallow and the what are they called the flowers so it's really big from viva decor silicone stempel looks like that i'm not sure if it has a name it has just an article number well it does have uh, Vo vogel bird cage and swallow is the name it was vogel something in german but birdcage and swallow i really like it it was pretty cheap 5 and 20 for this set two stamps so i took the last one i stamped it on with black ink and then i actually used some of 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 a watercolor paper water watercolor brush you put water in here and then you just paint with it pick up a little bit of color and paint and these are by distress ink team holds i have these yards that i fill up with just a little bit color this will last forever well not forever but for a really long time since i only use a little little bit a little bit goes a long way and i think these plastic containers or open them up like this i think there were eyelets eyelets inside them to begin with but i fill them up with colors and then i can close them like this so this is i finally have my colors in turku not all of them i have a lot more but i have 12 colors to choose between and you can mix them up and stuff like that and that's how i painted the squallow and i also painted the background with tea dye the color was tea dye i'm not sure what else i used uh, vintage paper and tea dye i mixed them up so the background became a little bit dark as well uh, fired brick and um, seedless preserves and the yellow was mustard seed i put a little bit yellow on the green and the green was lawn something with lawn grass i'm not sure and the blue was broken china so that's how I colorated this one and um, mm -mm, I put some oh when it was dry I put on some uh, 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 glossy accent again I hope I can really touch it slowly oh every time I touch it it bumps a little bit I put on some glossy accent on the 
flowers, just a few drops on them to give them some sh shine. And also I put on on this stamp here, I completely made it on the stamp and uh, what is it called, the other one here, by airmail it says. So I made that pop up by putting glossy accent. If you don't have glossy accent you could use stuff like um, the thing by Americana, what is it, it's called something glaze, I don't remember the name now but it's a really big yarn um, and, and it gives a nice little detail that it's popping up and I put on the flowers as well, yes the camera picks that up nicely, nice 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 and then I have put this small rhinestone on as you can see there's one black and there's one golden I glued them on with glossy accent, it's excellent for glue as well and here's my little set that I have over oh, there and actually I had I have had a little bit hard time picking them up one by one and gluing them onto my projects but I bought from eBay this resin I'm not sure if you say resin or resin but a resin uh, pencil and I think it was supposed to be for nail arts but I use it for crafting it works great for that as well the nail arts are just smaller this is bigger it was actually a lot longer but I cut it in half so I can have half of it in Turku and half of it in Hanko it was really cheap I think it was like 50 cents or something and free shipping and um, it's really just a little bit sticky and I think it's called rhinestone picker or rhinestone applicator something like that you pick up rhinestone and you put it into the glue and it's just so much easier than using your hands i usually use my hands or a toothpick and it was really messy but this works great just take one of these and place it so it's it's a lot easier i recommend this resin uh, resin rhinestone applicator so i cut it in half and i put it with my with my rhinestones and, and half pearls so I will always have it ready to go and I use the golden ones and the black that has a little bit of rainbow rainbow color on them so that's how I used those then I put on a ribbon or a bow what is it called double sided tape and I glued it here and I had this embellishment at home fleur de lis I glued it on with oh there and glued it on with glossy accent. I would prefer to use hot melting glue gun and use that instead to glue this on. That's way more secure. But I was in a hurry so I used glossy accent and it is pretty pretty nice and tight there. So that's okay as well. And that's pretty much how I made it. Oh and I cut out because it was a A6 A6 paper and I cut it out with probably my favorite scissors Fiskars Victorian Victorian it's just called Victorian Victorian by Fiskars it has this nice edge so I cut them out you could of course distress the sides here so it would look a lot nicer but I thought it would be a little bit subtle so I put it on like that um, that's how I made the front side, the inside nothing fancy, just a little single stamp. It doesn't have a name, I bought it on a flea market, so it's just a clear acrylic stamp. And I'm gonna have my greeting here. And that was pretty much how I made this card. Mm, if you have any question, please let me know. And thank you for watching and... Uh, have a nice day. See ya. Bye bye.